Close our eyes just for the few breaths and simply connect. We all have a busy lives, busy days. We're meeting the people, chasing the dreams, achieving the goals. But it's really important to stop sometimes and just think about the true value of being present, being here and being right now, not in yesterday, not in tomorrow, five minutes from now, but really enjoy what the presence given to us. This ability to move, ability to breathe, feel the wind blowing into our face maybe a little bit right now. This is a precious time and let's cherish it. So let's go ahead and open our eyes and reach all the way up. Big breath, inhalation through the nose and give that heart good opening and exhalation. Hands back up front of the heart. Let's do it one more time. Reach all the way up. Big breath. It's another beautiful, precious day for all of us. We want to be grateful for it. Take your hands up front and one more time. Reach all the way up and let's reach up and open. Big breath. And you don't have guys to go for the back bend if it's not there yet. And let's dive back to the child pose. Just extend the arms. Enjoy the straightening from the tailbone to the crown all the way and let's rise up one more time and reach up and maybe this time you can go for a little back bend or maybe not all the way forward fold all the way to the child pose and on the next one guys let's come up and tuck the toes and set the knees slightly wider for more stability Reach your right hand towards the left heel, open up, send the hips forward and open. And let's do the same to the other side. Just an opening, hips forward, heart up, expand. Take your arms all the way back and up and draw them both towards your back or towards the heels, whatever your body can afford today. Reach hips forward, chest up, express through the heart and come on back up tuck the tailbone slightly under and let's go ahead and do a few lateral stretches today on our knees so if you can't reach the floor you don't have to worry about it it can be just a side bend and you can take your hands on the hips or in the waistline or you can use your blocks if you have two blocks so try not to do this right we still want to go through the side even if it's not as deep and just a couple more very good come back to the center and open up those arms all the way to the side we're gonna go a few soft rotations to wake up the center you can follow my breast rhythm you can go faster you can go slower whatever feels right to that body right now and just a couple more and let's do one more all the way reach those arms up and let's take the right inside the left connect them to the eagle arms bring your elbows a little bit higher shoulders a little bit lower shift your weight a little bit back little back bend do not overdo it we're gonna start dynamically dive and sit on the heels if it's possible if not release your toes and we're gonna rise back up holding these eagle arms and reach and breathe reach up on exhalation use the leg strings and a couple more times and one more guys go ahead and open those arms up extend expand take the hands all the way behind stay on your knees and fold forward Let's come back up and we will re repeat the eagle pose from the other side. Arms all the way to the front. And we're gonna take the left inside the right. Bring your elbows slightly higher, shoulders away from the ears in. We're gonna go for the little back bend first. Very careful one. And then take it back and dive to the seated position. Use the leg strings. Let's wake up the body, make it functional, make it active. So we all can have effective practice, effective restorative one, couple more times. That's it. And one more time. And let's see it. Open up here. Take your hands behind. Hold forward.
very very nice come on back with me take your hands up front of your body take your feet step back behind to your downward facing dog again as i said let's go for the 15 20 minutes of active practice more ashtanga vinyasa style so shift your body forward to your plank or up dog listen to your body guys if you're not ready for that yet you can always always set your knees on the floor first make sure that you watch your form express through the heart draw the shoulders away away from the ears work on the spaciousness in that back and work on active support in that lower back you have to draw your navel in otherwise the back will be affected too much by this one those are very active flows try when you go back to your downward facing dog to express full form of the dog until you move in back to your plank or up dog we do a couple more couple more guys and from the next one we're gonna start to lift the one leg up of course if it's there if it's not just continue your regular up dog and down dog flow you don't have to go as active i want you to be mindful especially if you want to take the leg up you have to draw that navel in guys that's super important express the full downward facing dog on the way back please do not hurry up you don't have to go as fast as i do uh-huh that's perfect and one more whichever is like it's for you stop right there in your downward facing dog guys stop right there take a good breath push your hips back away and drop the head express through the spine we're gonna take the right leg up and open look underneath the right give it a good stretch on the hip and we're gonna draw the knee directly to the nose square those hips exhalation push it back and open it up wide look underneath the right draw the knee back to your nose do it couple more times all the way knee to your nose one more time waking up that body bringing the fire making it work right hold it with me with a leg lifted on the right or go ahead and step to the normal regular downward facing dog keep on breathing guys if you want you can come with me and take your left slightly outside we're gonna practice a little bit balance here in a two legged dog or three legged dog if that is already a lot stay right there or continue to bend <coughs> your right leg and see if you can reach towards your right ankle with your left hand i know it's very challenging but we're just gonna give it a shot as always Ooh. good job guys keep on breathing relax trust your body and we just doing it as much as we can very nice let's take it back let's take it back and go ahead and step forward with your right reach up and rise and open we're gonna do a few active up and down lunges up here with the arm circles together so try not to shift the weight beyond the knee right stay in the up and down movement shoulders above the hips and if you feel like you can go a little bit more active with the arm circle go ahead we want to bring a little bit heart rate up a couple more times don't forget which direction you swing in those arms because we're going to do it on other leg to the other direction Ooh, one more and go ahead and open up that heart dive in your lunge dive in your lunge keep on breathing guys keep on breathing we're gonna go through active ashtanga vinyasa transition if you feel like if not set your knees on the floor push down chaturanga downward facing dog relax drop the head expand through the spine we're gonna take our left leg up look underneath the left give it a good opening good expression draw the left knee directly to your nose or chin square the hips take it back and open directly to the knee 
knee to the nose. Take it back and open again. And last one. Mm -hmm. Excellent. We're going to hold that leg up and extend it, guys. You can just go to your regular downward facing dog or step your right hand outside. And that is already pretty much challenging, just like that. So you can stay right there. Or if you are in the mood for a little bit more playful practice and don't afraid to try, let's go ahead and bind with that ankle or we give it a try. Calm down your mind, find stability in the center. Some days are better than others. Keep on breathing, guys. Oh, that's challenging for me today. Very challenging. Some days are better. Come on, guys, keep on trying. Ooh. And let's go ahead and step all the way forward, guys. Forward to your lunge. All right, hopefully you remember which direction you swing those arms. We're gonna go to the opposite. I was swinging them backwards. Now I'm gonna do it front. Hopefully you remember. Do not crisscross the knees. I saw some of you. See some of you crisscrossing the knees. Keep the hips square. Dive a little bit deeper. Wider circles. <sighs> Couple more times. Couple more times. Couple more times. <sighs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and open up, dive in the lunge. <sighs> feeling happy, feeling complete. Life is so short to be unsatisfied all the time. Let's take it back through Chaturanga. Mm -hmm. Come on back up. Downward facing dog. Relax, restore, drop the heart all the way. Keep on breathing, guys. I am so proud of you. Let's go ahead and shift our body to the plank. We're gonna go and rock the heels on the right. You can always set your knees on the floor and that's gonna be totally fine. We're going to take our right foot up front. Up front, just like that, nice and extended. Keep on breathing. Keep on breathing, and if you're ready, we're going to lift that leg and hold. Stay with me, waking up, waking up, waking up. I know you can, guys. Active breathing, that's it. Good job, everybody, keep on breathing. Now try to slowly, mindfully come back and go for the push down chaturanga. I saw it, it was beautiful. Come back to the downward facing dog. Relax, restore, drop the head. Relax your neck, guys. Mm. Let's go ahead and shift body back to the plank. Rock the heels on the right. First, guys, find your strong plank pose. You don't have to go for the leg at all when you're ready. Extend your straight leg up front. Check your wrist, elbow and shoulder team. It's important to have a good alignment. And if you're ready, we're gonna go for the high lift right up front of your body. Excellent. I see you guys doing this. Come on. Breathe, 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 breathe. Don't quit. Couple more breaths and slow, mindful transition. Push down Chaturanga. Come on, good job, guys. Take it back to your downward facing dog. I'm so proud of you. We have a last flow to wake up that body for good before the restorative part is starting. Bend those knees, step, walk or hop. Feet hips with a poor chair pose. All the way, draw the arms to the side. Bind, squat a little bit lower, four, 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 three. In the chair, weight away from the knees, two, in one, open those arms, sweep the arms to the right, big one, stay in your chair, sweep the arms to the left, anything what doesn't serve us has to go away, there is no place for that in our body, come on guys, couple more times, 
reach all the way up and chair pose switch we're gonna go ahead and take the hands on the floor step walker up to the plank we have eight push-ups we have eight seven six elbows in guys only four left active breathing active breathing gonna be super helpful one more come on up bend your knees chair pose reach up we're going to take the left outside right left is gonna go up right is gonna go underneath create a good balanced chair pose we're gonna go for four little squats not all the way up halfway and a couple more and let's go ahead and undo those arms reach sweep to the left anything you don't need keep it up all the way to the right and big sweep powerful sweep life is too short and we have to take advantage of every wonderful thing it's offering us there's no place for sadness dissatisfaction envy doesn't work last one take it up and sweep all the way come on back to the forward fold with me looking halfway through step walk or hop back and bring your hips on the floor and it's gonna take us to our first restorative asana which is gonna be of your choice I'm gonna give you choices you can stay in your sphinx you can actually take your arms a little bit wider you can come to the gentle cobra pose when your arms extended but they farther away from your body you can come with me to the dog but i would recommend you for longer hold keep the supportive dog with the knees on the floor if you do that you can start on supportive but there is no really need for that in restorative practice so if you do the dog raise elbow shoulders stacked let's roll together i see all of you almost doing that way take the shoulders up back and down drop your shoulder blades release them towards the lower back so they rest it express through the heart even more like you trying to pop your ribs to all different directions and close your eyes keep your knees on the floor and start to relax by relax i mean to grow and expand with a sensation of relaxation with a being present being connected with your mind with your body with the true self and some asanas can be challenging until you start to allow yourself to relax and embrace it and then it becomes very effortless very light but it's so important to look to seek for that inner connection and sometimes it seems like body is just a body mind is just a mind and a boss but that's not it there is a deeper layer of the consciousness which is your true self which is beyond the mind and beyond the body and you're gonna feel only as light as healthy and produce as light and healthy practice and a healthy and vital body as much as you connect it with itself and that self is working on vitality within leave your shoulders away from the ears guys let the body again be light be connected be present feeling each and every cell of that body alive let's slowly start to roll through the heels and we're gonna go for the downward facing dog now in your downward facing dog you can stay in a regular one if you feel that you want to go on your tabletop you can you can also bend your knees guys if you want to spend half time with me with a one arm one hand draw into the ankle and another i will tell you when 
do that or stay in the full one. You can do one way or other, it doesn't matter. Just follow your body's sensations. Relax the neck in both variations and express through the back, guys. Your back must be spacious. And once you achieve the spaciousness in the back, we still continue to expand. Just like you would slowly stretch the canvas on each and every exhalation, giving that spine, that back, even more presence. Relax your neck, guys. The neck must be limp and loose. And let's slowly switch the hands if you had one arm. If you didn't, just stay where you are. Level the hips. Relax the neck. Make the shoulders soft and relaxed. There is no tension in the neck as well. And let's slowly bring the hand back on the floor. From here, we're gonna go for the thread, the needle. So let's meet on the floor in the tabletop. We will take the right arm underneath, a left arm underneath the left to begin first. For your thread, the needle, there is few variations. If you feel like you really want to work a little bit harder in your restorative practice, you can go ahead for the balance and lift the leg and connect. You can simply draw the right hand behind the back, close your eyes and just be right there, relaxing and releasing the tension from the left shoulder. So pick the one. I'm gonna go for the balanced variation for myself, but you don't have to do it. So if you feel like to go for the bind, go for it, or just stay grounded on your mat. Keep on breathing. If your body is shaking because you go for the what you went for the balance, maybe it makes sense today to release it and just to enjoy simple threads and needle, right? Just make a right choice. You can always start challenging and then downgrade it. Couple more breaths, guys. Stay with me. Oh, that feels so good. Let's go ahead and release the leg back if you had it on the floor. We're still gonna stay in this red needle, but we will try to take our right arm all the way up front, all the way up front of the body. Yes, and just hold it for a few more breaths. let's slowly start to return back to the center and before we're gonna go for thread the needle from other side we will go for the puppy pose or anahata asana so remain your tailbone in between in between your knees maybe step your knees a little bit further and slowly dive the chest on the floor if the chest doesn't go on the ground, it's not a big deal. Don't push it through. Just start to work on the relaxation in the spine, upper part of your spine. Craig, you need to shift the hips a little bit backwards. Mm -hmm. That's perfect, everyone. And we're gonna give it a few breaths here until we will move to the thread the needle or balancing thread the needle from the other side. So take your time. 
to come out and let's meet on the tabletop and then from there go ahead and take the right arm underneath the left remain tailbone in between the knees right and just stay up there guys just up there drawing the hand behind or go for the full balance if you will just taking your time You can always guys downgrade. You don't have to stay in the same position for your entire hold. And let's slowly release the leg if you had it over there, but we're still gonna stay in this red the needle. Take your left arm all the way up front if you can. Mm -hmm. Very nice. We're just gonna spend here a few extra breaths. let's slowly start to come back to the center we will do one more time our puppy pose this time let's definitely set the knees a little bit wider and I will show you a few progressions if you would go with me you can or you just can stay in that asana in a more simple variation so just staying up here or if you want to pull on your ankles with me Be very mindful. let's slowly release and that's gonna take us to the next one we will take our seat on the knees in our feet just like we began from very beginning so from so from here guys you just can remain through all the time seated up here on your toes that is totally fine if you would want to go with me deeper for bringing the hands behind the back in a few breaths you can do that but you can definitely stay up here it's important to let the tension go from the toes and let the upper body weight to dive through the feet through the ankles and through the toes So from here, if you just want to sit up there, you can, or if you want to send your hands all the way behind the feet, just be mindful, express through the heart, and just take your time for wherever you stay in today. Let the head drop and relax your neck, guys. Continue to expand through the heart. Make sure guys that you're still using your belly breathing and you breathing. The breath is a key to be able to relax in the challenging asanas.
and let's slowly start to come back so let's move a little bit more farther to the back so you can step forward we will step forward our right foot for the longer hold of the low lunge and from there we're gonna we're gonna continue to work on the lower body for a while so if you have the blocks blocks outside please hold yourself up here if you need support rather than up here no knees inside everything is out and nice and open close your eyes guys and just let the upper body starting from the facial expression be soft be relaxed be happy and then use the gravity as your friend by resisting constantly building the tension it's only gonna make it harder just taking that body as a unit as a part of the universe as a part of the earth the breath the air the gravity and just trust your body to do the best what it's can to do for you that's just the main thing listening and trusting your body if you just listen you will know how far to go how far not to go when to stop when to recover when to go deeper go harder or not as hard but the first thing is starting to be present so you can actually hear what your body telling you try to open up the hips just do not crisscross and you're gonna feel a relief when you stop resisting you will suddenly feel that lightness resistance just invites more resistance we expand what we focus on and you focus if you focus on lightness you will bring the lightness in the body if you focus on challenge and heaviness it's just going to be more challenging and more heavy let's take the hands back on the floor slowly take your time and just shift the body weight towards the left our front knee is going to be extended and our left hip is going to be somewhere directly above the left knee we're going to keep the foot on the floor to begin with so start to fold forward if your knee is popping up you are too low i need you guys to work on the foot on the floor and knees soft and extended and relaxed if your knee is popping up come on up higher you that's all about that quad if your knee popping up most likely this is your quadricep doesn't let you do it reach you need to open up that a little bit outward you just to uh, round it in mm -hmm. and once you expand through the hip flexor and hips you will feel more space give it a little bit external rotation on the right leg mm -hmm. it's much better taking the time guys taking your time and we're gonna be staying just right where we are we're just gonna lift the toes off the ground and now you suddenly feel the tension in your Achilles and the hamstring much more. So continue to dive forward and just holding the asana. And just a couple more breaths up here. let's slowly come up halfway and take your left hand on the floor you can just have the right hand up here you can open up all the way just for the few more breaths
Mm -hmm. And let's return back to the center. From here, we will first come up to the standing position. Find a little bit balance. Tuck the toes at the back. Very nice. Good job, guys. Just finding the balance. Level your shoulders. Make sure you can breathe and your body is open. Once you did that, you can go ahead and stay just right where you are. Or you can draw your left hand towards the left heel. And open up a little bit deeper. I am so proud of you guys. Try to rotate the heart towards the center, towards me. That's cool. Let's take it all the way back to the front one more time. And then slowly start to release the weight back, back on the toes. On the left toes mm -hmm. if that is too much you can support yourself and don't release it all the way right but if you can we're gonna dive all the way down very good guys just don't stress about being able to do something perfectly or not doing something totally perfectly we can't measure the perfection so just flow just practice and the progress will follow and it's like a snowball at the beginning it's always taking taking longer <clears throat> a little bit more work but as you progress it's easier and easier and the result is very visible keep on breathing guys lengthening through the spine continue to send the breath into the places where it's needed the most Come on back up and we're going to release our left foot to the half virasana. If the half virasana is not there, then you're going to use the block right like Crack is using right now. So the first thing we're going to do in a half virasana, we're going to fall forward here. Half hero pose. Make sure that you're sitting leveled on the both seat bones doesn't have to be crazy low it can be your stop your foot hands up here mm -hmm. just a one simple step at a time will lead to the big big change and good improvement just one little step one little effort doing every single day a little bit more than you thought you can will lead to the big change in your life, amazing changes, which you could never even know and dream how it can be. But the effort is must. Complacency would never work. And let's take it slowly back up. We're still gonna be staying in a half virasana on the left if you can. If it's too much, turn it back around. We will bring our right foot though close. It can be a little bit farther if you have to do it farther way. And you can sit just up here. That's already a lot. Or you can take it outside, outside of the right leg. Close your eyes, level your shoulders, and just being here in a variation of the Lord of the Fishes with a half virasana on the left. We're just gonna give it a few breaths here. 
it's pretty challenging one, especially after long cold of the half hero pose. So just try to relax. And if you feel that all you're focusing on is a tangent, maybe it's just too far today. And we just give it a few breaths. And let's return it back to the center and go ahead and take take your right foot mm -hmm, all the way outside and sit on your left ankle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if you feel that you can open it a little bit farther for the full goddess pose that's the way we're gonna go if that's gonna make your body very unbalanced and you can handle it for a longer time then just return where you've been with the knee more to the front you have to be able to let the tension go in upper body if you're just working on supporting your balance that's not what we're looking for so find the place where it's somehow can be relaxing And again, it's such a perfect day for outdoor practice. We are just so lucky being in Florida and having such a beautiful mornings. No rain, no heat. And again, guys, if you're closing your eyes, just look inside and try to feel your feet on the floor, your hands touching each other. Those all little points which will help us to get more present. Listening the wind, listening the birds, listening the true self, which is always there, always constant. We can go through the different human emotions, being angry, being sad, being unsatisfied, envy, not be able to give the commitment sometimes, but it's all only part of our being but there is much deeper self which always striving loving helping forgiving so we always want to look for that one especially in the challenging times we want to look deeper find the truth let's slowly to return back to the center and just wiggle your hips and we're gonna repeat exactly the same flow from the other leg so soft hips rotation to the side take your time relaxing your ankles your lower back mm -hmm. and let's gently Tuck the toes. Relax our neck. Straight the legs, makes them feel good. All the way. And then slowly step your left leg up front. We're gonna go for the low lunge up here. Take some time to dive in there. Front knee slightly outside. Observe the differences in between the other leg. If you remember it, how hard or how light it was. Hard above the hips. Give it a few extra movement. Whatever your body wants to feel, how it wants to approach that. Don't use your leg to support, use the floor or the blocks. Close your eyes and just enjoy the moment of taking care of your body. Some people don't have that precious ability to be able to move, to practice. It can be the time, the work, the physical body issues and restrictions. 
all different things but we are so lucky we have that body and we want to treat that body really well it's only one vehicle we're given and that's truly only one value in this life is a health because if the health is not there any other such an important values as a family or money wouldn't make any sense because we wouldn't able to give anything to anyone to serve anyone or make the money body is a vehicle it's a vehicle and if you not maintenance give it doesn't give it a good maintenance it's gonna fail it's like I always think about that if you decide to invest somehow in the super expensive loan molder and pay a lot of money for that but you abuse it and 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 the service which that loan molder providing you for your money eventually is going to perish because you have to change the oil to give it some maintenance the same with the body we can buy the most expensive foods you know and take the most expensive supplements and buy very expensive clothes but it's not going to be matter if we're not taking care of it because it's still going to fail so keep on breathing guys let's go ahead and take the hands on the floor and we will first extend our front leg up here and just keep the toes on the floor start you forward folding again soft hip flexor is must your right hip above the right knee just a gentle dive we're gonna do the halfway through with the toes on the floor and the halfway through with the toes lifted for a little bit different muscular and joint work joints work Watch your front knee, guys. If it's popping up, maybe you're too far low. And let's slowly bring the toes up. Just take your time, guys. Take your time. Inhalation, Let's think about where you want to go. On exhalation, relax, let the body flow. Body is very intelligent. If you treat it that way, it's going to respond to you right away. Let's come up halfway through and take your right hand on the floor. Practice a little bit of external rotation so you don't fail to bring the knees inside and block the hips. let's return back slowly tuck your toes and I want you to find a good square hips and balance position up here so you can just remain up here and just stay and hold that balance practice the stability and groundness which is really important because we are interconnected with the earth with the universe we want it or we don't but if you want to come with me we're gonna draw the right hand take your time look how balanced you are guys use a block patty look use a block 
instead the um instead the heel guys use the block on the side mm -hmm. if you have to practice a little bit of external hip rotation and continue to take your heart to the side to the front I still can see the moon it's already probably almost 10 a.m and let's slowly return back to the front again one more time and let's go ahead and dive deeper on your toes if you will if not just up here if you can sit all the way through that's great and we're folding forward Keep on breathing, guys. Keep on breathing. Take your time. It doesn't have to be super challenging. It doesn't have to be perfect as well. It can be your way. The way you feel will lead you for healing and expansion for improvements. But again, we got to put some work. Push and strive a little bit more than we normally do in order to move and to expand just keep doing the same things and keep blaming something else and someone else on what we don't have yet it's never going to work all we can do if we can take care of what we can do and that's a personal responsibility Let's slowly come on back up and we release ourselves in a half virasana. Take your time to find a good seated position so you feel that you sit on the both seat bones equally, not dragging side to side. You can get that half, half your pose out. You can sit up here. You can dive all the way forward. Just what you can. The first thing to the house is start within, guys. It's always, we all know it, but we have to allow ourselves to be healthy, to be vital, to remain young inside out. It's a choice. Of course, it's important what we eat and how much we exercise and how active the lifestyle we have. But vitality and health starts within, with a mindset with allowing ourselves to be healthy, to be alive. And the more we give, the more we get back. It doesn't matter in what area, the health, the service, whatever it is. The world is very interdependent. The more we give, the more we get back. The more we learn, the more we expand. The more tries we give, the better results we get. That's only the one way. It's a constant movement. Constant movement forward. Make sure, guys, you're relaxing your body parts, your feet, your wrinkles, your back tension always only invites the tension back more tension focus on lightness focus on lightness in your asana you need a choice i can't do it for you i just can remind you to focus on the lightness let's slowly come back mm -hmm. and the first thing we're going to do we're going to bring our left knee forward, maybe not as closed. If you need to get rid of your half virasana, do it. You can sit up here or you can give it a soft spinal rotation and maybe even full alignment of your right arm outside of the left. Just don't overdo it. Make sure that your shoulders are soft and away from the ears and you can breathe. 
because if you turn in too far that you can't breathe that makes no sense and we will just give it a few press here and let's return back to the center go ahead and if that's available sit on your uh, right angle take your left outside that could be pretty much already good if it feels like you can take it a little bit farther then go ahead and do that very nice after that we're gonna go back to the prone position to our belly we're gonna do a few very gentle um, asanas over there and you can take them a little bit more challenging if you want but you can do the simple variations of those which I show you but for right now let's get back inside and close our eyes and again and maybe think about some special gratitudes we forgot to say today For what we have for our families for this precious life for the functional body which we can use not everyone again has that luxury and for stability in our life we have or even for instability we have to be grateful as well because sometimes it teaches us a lesson and then we can grow through that and be grateful because without challenges and struggling sometimes we take everything for granted and we have to be grateful for challenges as well it's allowed us to grow and let's slowly take it back all right so let's take it back to our belly and we do our simple scorpion back touches just like that and it can be a very gentle very slow ones if you can touch the floor that is totally fine I just do a few more and just a couple more and then guys so we're all on one page let's just uh, roll let me just check this that it's all stable let's just roll on the left side I'm gonna roll on the left side of our body and we're going to cover basically bring our right leg more to the front and then we're gonna go ahead and take our right arm underneath the left if that is a little bit too much then just remain up front but bend this right leg and take your right arm all the way underneath and just put your left wherever it's going and just let your head drop And we just give it a few breaths, few extra breaths here. And 
and let's slowly return back to the center and what we're gonna do we're going to bind our right arm which was underneath we took it out and we're gonna draw it to the left leg and if you go ahead and just lay down here the way you want to lay down and it just any variation will work just perfectly it's a modified cat tail pose And we just give it a few more breaths and if you decide guys to stay just up there that's already a good place to stay but if you want draw your left hand towards your left ankle and roll a little bit more deeper on the left side a little bit more deeper on the left side and just go ahead and take your right like all the way up just again practicing the lightness it's a soft side back bend and give it a few breaths like this and then go ahead and connect with your other ankle mm -hmm. just like a sideway bridge pose Together we're going to go back to the prone position and if you choose just to rest without any bind, you can choose just to rest and just undo your arms, undo your legs and just extend them to the front or to the side or choose to come with me and hold it for a few extra breaths. Just a few extra breaths. And let's slowly release then all the way and extend the arms extend the legs give it some rest and let's rock guys on the other side on the right side and bend your left knee and bring it to the front all the way to the front your left and then you can definitely stay up here just up here or you can take your left arm underneath the left and un underneath the right left underneath the right mm -hmm. to us like this mm -hmm. that is it you don't have to go as deep definitely but if it's if it's comfortable go ahead and do it take your time to return to the front you can remain up there or you can bind with your right ankle your left arm and your right ankle your left arm and your right ankle we just give it a few breaths and then you can definitely stay right up here or you can draw your right hand to your right ankle if you're ready and roll a little bit more deeper towards the right mm -hmm. give it a little bit time to adjust and then take your leg and arm all the way up if the balance is not there you can't lay down on your side top the floor look at you guys beautiful and we just Give it a breath or two and then go ahead and bind all the way.
and slowly roll back all the way and bring those ankles up hold it just up this up up here <clears throat> you can release your knees on the floor or you can follow me just take your right ankle bring it all the way up we did practice it look how much faster guys you did it this time that's okay just keep your boys ankles and and just hold them like that in a normal position so we turn back switch oh hold on it feels good a little bit challenging but it feels good and breath or two take it back all the way on the floor extend your arms and legs extend your legs like you do in a star pose take your time and bring your hands to the side open up in a wide leggy cobra pose shoulders up back and down just a couple times just give that spaciousness space to the chest to the back and then simply look above the one shoulder very gentle and above another shoulder take your feet very much together take your hands directly underneath your shoulders come on up with me and we're just holding this plank keep on breathing guys just a few extra breaths close your eyes body as a unit and then with me guys slowly step your right foot outside of your right hand and your left outside of your left and we're going to dive together to the to the mawasana all the way up here very much restorative flow I mean very much restorative asana if you need support on the floor you need support on the floor you need to open up your toes open up your toes if you get in closer to the good variation of it then try to sit your feet parallel to each other in wide and fully grounded correct this is amazing that's what wow this is finally there I know just one day you realize oh I can do it that's great wow so let's take the heart up and just be there the progress will be there the asana will express itself in the physical body and the body will open we just have to give it the right intentions we're gonna spend a few more breaths up here and if you decide to stay here a little bit longer, if you need a relief and you need to sit, then just go down and sit and just practice a crisscross leg. So we come with me. Well, we're gonna take the right arm, left out, or maybe even bind for some of you. Maybe even bind some of you. If not, then just open and continue to express through the hips and through the heart. Mm -hmm. That's it. Very good. I can believe it, Craig. That's amazing. Wow. Just take your time, guys. Take your blocks. Blocks. I will look if I have an extra blocks, but all of my blocks are left in locked in lay fitness. <laughs> or whatever is left there. Let's do another side. Start with opening first so you create more space and then don't skip a little preparations. That's okay, that's okay, just one step at a time. Yeah, we just do what we can and that body will heal and expand. Sometimes we can be super fit, but then it gets to yoga practice. We realize that actually we some have some areas we have to work on. Come on back, guys. 
or the way you sit. We're gonna go ahead and extend the legs. Mm -hmm. Pull the glutes out. We will first go just straight to the one side. And if you would want to expand to the overhead one, you do, but start with a simple one. Roll your glutes out, make sure you have a lot of space in the hips, and then begin simple. Just take your hands to the side. And then if it gets good, then go a little bit farther, reach to your foot. Mm-hmm. Like this. Mm-hmm. And if that's getting good, then you can go ahead and just lay your right arm around the right. And just be here. Or maybe you're gonna go ahead and take it over. And let's go ahead and back to the center. We're still going to work on that side. So pull your left leg all the way, not too much close or close. Whichever way it goes, it might not go that way right away. We sit it open for just a couple breaths just to find the form. And then if you can reach, we're going to reach towards that right leg, which we already reached and continue to push the left knee slightly away and open open towards the left guys and then come on back up and take your right outside of the left or in the middle if you can't reach make sure your shoulders are not blocking your neck and your spine is soft and extended and then we will extend the left and do the same to the left side. So just start with a forward pull towards the left, just a soft one. If it's going good, then go for your foot. If that is going pretty easy for you and you feel good, then go ahead and lay your left and take the right. Mm -hmm. One step at a time. Very nice. Take your time. Time sometimes is better. You will find you give it a time. You're being patient. And the, your yoga practice, your body is opening. Mm. And let's take it back up, guys, slowly. We will take the right, bring it outside and close if you can. If you can reach to the left and to the right simultaneously, that's nice. And just give it a extra opening breeze. Rotate through the center, through the solar plexus, through the hip flexor. And we just continue to open up over the right and over the sky up towards the right and towards the sky just building a little bit more spaciousness in the hips i know it can be challenging try to lengthen in the back guys lengthen in the back and just a few breaths here don't hurry up to come out and then let's come back up and just if you can swing the left outside of the right wherever you can mm -hmm. wherever you can mm. 
and just breast her too. And let's return back to the center with the right foot up front of the left. We're gonna practice our hands namaste behind the back. Once we go to the half lotus, full lotus or no lotus at all. So just pick the one you're gonna do. Let's begin with the right leg. If you go for the half, we will take the right ankle on top. You don't have to do your lotuses at all. If your knees are not ready, your ankles are not ready. And that's very good one, just a half if you do that. But if you do the full one, take your time, please. Take your time, guys. So we're gonna take the hands. If you need to use um, the strap to hold the hands in general behind, you can but you can also put them just behind the lower back or you can take them to the full reverse prayer position. The way I like to do it, I get the one arm and I pull in the elbow. Well, but the other one, it just has to match. And then you try to press the fingers, the palms into between the shoulder blades. Mm -hmm, like that yeah just behind that's okay that's why i say just guys use the straps or put them behind the lower back if you can see i don't know mm -hmm. we just give it a few breaths here if you will feel a need to come out of your lotus pose because it's just not as joyful yet so you can see it here you know like some meditations done in the lotus pose because it's so comfortable you can sit for hours i can sit for hours in that but kind of it's getting closer on one side on this side i can sit probably i don't know for 30 minutes and it's not going to bother me but on the other side i can't so if you have a need to go out go ahead or for my intermediate and advanced practice we're going to go on our elbows That is something, just an extra thing, but if you're not ready for that, I don't want you to do it. It's very, it's very challenging. If you feel your knees to start with in your ankles, in your lotus, that's, that shouldn't be done at all. Yes? <laughs> Couple more breaths, guys. And of course, intermediates and advanced, if you want to go ahead and flip it, it's a good day for it. It's a beautiful day to flip the lotus don't you think so i think so let's go ahead and roll back Michael Ron it's amazing undo those ankles undo those feet massage them do I see a smile while once you undo it <laughs> guys make sure that doesn't hurt it can be it can be some tension there because it was just crisscrossed but if it's that shouldn't be any pain okay left up front of the right could be just it it's already loot before you do your lotus check it guys it comes from external hip rotation don't screw the ankle to put the lotus in there i see it please don't do this come from here and then the rest is going to come from your knee and then the rest is going to come from the ankle come from the hip mm -hmm. From the hip on the other legs the same thing it comes from the hip so we're gonna go to the hands namaste again if it's there if it's not just hands behind the back we did a really really good practice to opening those hips so 
you probably might even feel that you can do more than you normally can. If your hands behind the shoulder blades, press into the back, into the back. Mm-hmm. Reach, cheer, stop. Shoulders back, draw them back, draw them back. That's it. Like a winks. Elbows like a winks. Okay, if you decide to stay right up here, stay up here, undo the lotus. Go back on your elbows, you don't have to. Good job, guys. That feels so good, that wind in, in the face. Feels so alive. If you want to flip it, go ahead. Let's come back up. When you're ready, return back. Even though it's a restorative practice, I can't let you go without the boat. It can be the one-legged boat. We're gonna move from the regular boat to the low Navasana, low boat, Ardha Navasana. So go ahead and get your legs ready. Find the center, it doesn't have to be low, it doesn't have to be straight legs, just find the center. So you carry, you holding those legs and the shoulders through the center. Mm -hmm. Through the nose in, through the nose out. Through the nose in, through the nose out. Slowly start to release the lower back on the floor. Take your time, guys. Hold that boat. Let's slowly draw the knees towards the chin, chest, or belly. Give it a good hug and open up it to the happy baby pose. All the way, press the tailbone into the floor. And we will extend the legs, guys, and we will take the right leg on top on the left leg. You don't have to do the full eagle pose. If you wish, you can. Take the arms on the side. Take your knees on the right. Hmm. And let's undo the legs and take the left on top on the right and bring them on the left arms on the side. Let's undo the legs and give yourself another good hug to your feet, to your knees. Extend those legs. Leave, take the feet behind to Halasana pose. And then slowly, guys. Keep your eyes closed and come up up front. 
with your feet up front of your body, your hands up front of your heart. And again, let's finalize this practice with the practice of the gratitude towards everything we have, towards this world, towards our families, our stability, this precious and unique day we given to live. Life is a precious gift and we have to take it and live it with responsibility. So we can give, we can grow, we can expand and contribute to other people's lives. So let's open that heart for more passion, love, commitment, kindness. Let it in inside your heart, smile with your heart and that smile might change someone's life today. Namaste. Guys, you are so awesome. Good job. I'm just so, so, so proud of you. I really mean it. Good job.